again welcome back another leverage problem okay now a uh, very similar to the previous problem where we have to calculate sales and the fixed operating costs from the given information all right so dcl degree of combined leverage is 3 dfl is 2 interest is given preference dividend is also given variable cost is 40 percent of sales tax rate is 60 percent calculate sales and fixed operating costs all right first things first your income statement sales minus variable costs yeah you get contribution contribution minus fixed operating costs you get operating profit or ebit earnings before interest and tax ebit minus interest payment you get ebt which is earnings before tax then deduct tax now tax rate is given at 60 percent then you get eat earnings after tax minus preference dividend then finally you have equity earnings all right so what do we know what do we have here we know what is interest payment interest payment is 6000 it's given we don't know what is ebt we have to find out all right now the clue is dcl is given dfl is also given now what is dfl degree of financial leverage dfl is equal to ebit divided by ebt now since there is preference dividend here so ebt minus preference pref div divided by one minus tax rate here all right now we know what is dfl dfl is two. Oh, by the way preference dividend is also given 16000 so let's fill that up 16000 all right so dfl is 2 equal to ebit divided by now EB, ebt can be rewritten as ebit minus interest one minus tax again so because ebit is uh, ebt is nothing but ebit minus interest so ebit minus interest equal to ebt so we know what is ebit oh, we don't know what is ebit we have to find out so ebit minus interest what is interest 6000 minus preference dividend 16000 divided by one minus tax rate tax rate is 60 percent so therefore uh, this will be 2 into ebit minus 6000 minus 16000 divided by 0 0.4 will be 40000 equal ebit so so this will be uh, 2 EBIT bring this to the side minus EBIT take this to the other side so minus 6000 minus 40000 will be what uh, into 2 by the way ok so this will be 46 46 into 2 is 92000 so when you take this to the other side it will be positive of course so EBIT is equal to 92,000 so there we have it okay we know what is EBIT so EBIT is 92,000 minus interest you will get what EBT which is 86,000 
then calculate tax at 60 percent all right tax at 80 at, at 60 percent is 51,600 so your EAT is what EAT is 34,400 34,000 by the way 34,400 you know what is preference dividend already given so therefore, your equity earnings is 18,400. There, we have the equity earnings. Now, what do we need to find out? We have to find out what is fixed cost, contribution, and so on. All right? Uh, the moment we find out contribution, we'll be able to find out what is fixed cost. So what is contribution? Contribution. Uh, All right, uh, the clue DCL is given. All right, and DCL is what? DCL is DOL into DFL. All right, so DCL is 3, DOL we don't know. DFL is given 2, so DOL, degree of operating leverage, is what? Degree of operating leverage is 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1.5. All right, and DOL is equal to contribution by EBIT. We know what is EBIT. We know what is, we have found out DOL. DOL is 1.5. Uh, contribution, we do not know. We have to find out EBIT is, we have found out EBIT in 92,000, right? Oh, yeah, 92,000. So, therefore, contribution is equal to 92,000 divided by 1.5 equals to uh, wait, sorry, made a mistake. Contribution is equal to 92,000 into 1.5, not divided by. And where is my brain? 1,38,000. So there we have it, contribution. So the contribution is 1,38,000. So since we know what is contribution, we know what is EBIT. Fixed cost will be what? One lakh thirty-eight minus ninety-two thousand. That'll be forty-six thousand. All right. So we need to find out what is variable cost as well as sales. Now it is given here. Variable cost is forty percent of sales. So if this is forty percent of sales, variable cost is 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 forty percent of sales, and let's say sales is hundred. Then obviously contribution will be sixty percent of sales, right? Sixty percent, sixty percent of sales. So if one lakh thirty eight is sixty percent of sales, then sales will be how much? Hundred percent. If you do your calculation, you know you'll find out that it is two lakhs thirty thousand. Sales is two lakhs thirty thousand. Obviously, variable cost will be what? 40% of that. So, 40% of that is 92,000. All right. Okay. So, there we have it. We have found out what is sales. We found out what is fixed operating costs.